least there's one super base actress working at Hollywood who is not going to put up with their nonsense any longer. Goldie Hawn rips the Oscars. It used to be elegant. Now things have become politicized. We're going to get into this whole crazy story because Goldie Hawn completely just eviscerates the entire woke Oscar ceremony. Something that we have talked about here at great lengths here on this channel. All of what uh, Ricky Gervais said at the Golden Globes uh, in 2020 is 100% spot on with what is actually happening here. Han said the Oscars used to be about glamour and stardom. It used to be elegant. She said, I'm not old fashioned, but sometimes jokes are off color and I'm missing reverence. Things have become politicized. I want to see people in awe. I want to see people believing again. I want to see people laughing more in a way that isn't just at someone else's expense. And the problem that we are living in today has a lot to do with social media because a lot of these actors, these actresses can get on social media and just spout out all sorts of ridiculous nonsense that just makes people roll their eyes and say, okay, yeah, okay, w whatever you say, idiot, <laughs> right? Like, like that is how a lot of us have, have responded to what these celebrities continue to do. They continue to prove that they are some of the most cringy people in our society today, and yet we're supposed to look up to them. But we're living in different times right now. There are very few people who are willing to actually continue to act like movie stars. People like Tom Cruise. Which is why Hollywood can't stand Tom Cruise. Because Tom Cruise is someone who doesn't get into all of the political BS out there. He just is someone that wants to make movies that people enjoy. So... We're living in a weird time where there's definitely a cultural shift happening here. And even with Epicverse, we don't plan on, you know, creating Epicverse to be something that you guys are going to be in awe over, okay? Even with what Goldie Hawn is saying here, I disagree with her. I don't think that, you know, people should be in awe of celebrities. I think that making celebrities your idols is never a good thing because these people are not very smart, okay? And they have a lot of very terrible ideas for what they want society to be. I think that having them as idols is a bad idea, but that's not at all what we have an interest in with the epic verse. We don't want you guys to be in awe with us. We want to just have a great connection with you. Oh, by the way, there's some really nice uh, advertisement there from 221B Tactical. Go check out 221B Tactical where you can get an epic verse hat, everyone. Look at that spicy logo right there on the hat. So make sure you go check out 221B Tactical. We have some great stuff over there, some great merch, and more is going to be coming. So Han then condemned Will Smith's, uh, what he did to Chris Rock the other year. It's indicative of our culture right now. I mean, you could look at it and say, what the hell just happened? Somebody lost control. They lost their self-regulation. Their bigger brain wasn't thinking, and they did something that was horrendous and also showed no remorse. That, to me, is a microcosm oftentimes of our world. The Oscars are falling apart. The Oscars are this Sunday, and we are absolutely going to laugh at them and their horrible ratings as they are every single year as, as they continue to go on the downhill trend into obscurity. So with all of that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.